obviously I've said before that I don't want to go to the cinema anymore. It's kind of something that's a bit over for me now. But um, I did chuckle at this next story about exhibitors testing variable pricing with uh, the release of the new Batman film. And I'll touch on the Batman film a little bit after at the end of this. But um, as a as a joke, that's a side to this. But the, <laughs> apparently in America, the AMC Entertainment chain, one of the biggest US exhibition chains, are sort of basically testing like what I would consider to be like um, almost like theater show pricing so depending on uh, where you're yeah so yeah so where you're sitting in the actual theater will determine what price you're paying for that ticket now i read it and immediately thought all right you've already you've already put me off going this puts me off even more going because it i don't think I can see why they're doing it because they're looking for ways to be creative in terms of generating box office revenue because, you know, it's not that um, they're hurting because a pandemic aside, they've, you know, been making heaps of money and all that sort of thing. But they're obviously seeing a certain level of writing on the wall with pressure coming from streaming services and other entertainment options that they have to figure out a way to amortize the um, uh, every seat in a cinema um, for, for a big release. But... I don't know, people might not care because they still want to go. Um, I I have no love for this particular idea because um, to me, I never famously went to gold class because I didn't know, I can understand why people wanted the luxury experience, but I didn't see the reason why you would do that just to see a film because, you know, okay, the seat's a bit nicer, but if I'm at home, I can get my own food. You know that kind of thing. Um, I'm a bit weird that way, but um, that that was just my take on it. I don't think there's anything weird about it. I I went to Gold Class a couple of times, and the best thing about it was the reclining chair and the fact you know you could drink beer <laughs> while you watch the film in Australia, which you can't do in in cinemas normally. Although some cinemas you can these days. Look, the it, it's a good point. I don't like it because I don't complain when I go to a cinema and I come in late and get a crap seat, so why should I have to pay extra, you know, just to get a crap seat, which is effectively what variable pricing does. Yeah. You know, like that that's the key to it. You're actually going to pay a premium for a crap seat and you're going to pay even more for a better seat. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know, maybe younger generations today don't mind that, but to me the approach is very obvious and yeah, it is. It is actually a turn off. I should. I, I should also say that, um, uh, from what I've seen, older generations seem to be the ones driving a lot of the return to the cinemas as well, because of um, because of I guess the older habits and stuff like that too. Like it's a bit a real mixture because. I can almost see they might go for that because they might be uh, – conned is probably a harsh word, but um, the idea that if they pay more, they get you know a, pre- a, a seemingly premium experience. Yeah, look, I understand it. If it's a live performance, whether it's sports or theatre, uh, you know, where you sit matters. <laughs> In a cinema, wherever you sit, you're going to see the screen. The question is, are you going to be sitting front on or are you going to be, you know, leave with a sore neck? Or like you know, be walking left for the next hour after you've you've been to the film, and the answer is probably not. So <laughs> you know, like I don't I don't get it. There's no poles in a cinema that you know like might obscure your view. It's not like a, a mega stadium where you might be sitting you know 55 rows right up the back, and they're just ants down on stage. You, you know, so the premium you're paying, you know. Is, is ridiculous and I'm not sure what the, the scale in terms of price differential is but, you know, geez, it's, it's, it's I can't believe it could be enough to make it worth it. 